Find the vertical intercept and vertex of the following quadratics. State if the vertex is a minimum or maximum point on the graph. All right, so the vertical intercept first, I'll do that in blue, f of 0 would be 0 squared plus 10 times 0 minus 12, and that's negative 12. So the vertical intercept is 0, negative 12. Now the vertex All right, so this is in a stand, what is called the standard form of the quadratic function. Then to find the vertex, what we do is, we, there's a formula we can use. Turns out that the x coordinate of the vertex is given by negative b over 2a. So that would be negative 10 over 2 times 1. I made substitutions for b and a. 10 over 2 is 5, so negative 5. The x coordinate of the vertex is 5. Then the y coordinate of the vertex is the function evaluated at negative 5. So that would be negative 5 squared plus 10 times negative 5 minus 12. 25 minus 50 minus 12. It's negative 25 minus 12 is negative 37. So then the vertex is negative 5, negative 37. State if the vertex is a minimum or maximum point on the graph. Well, since a is equal to 1, since a is positive, the parabola opens up, and so then the vertex is a minimum. Exercise B asks us the same thing. For g of a is negative 5a squared minus 30a minus 15. So first, finding the vertical intercept, g of 0 would be negative 5 by 0 squared minus 30 by 0 minus 15, which would be negative 15. So the vertical intercept is 0, negative 15. The vertex. Well, the a coordinate of the vertex would be given by negative b over 2a. So we'd have negative b over 2a. Now be careful here, don't mix up your a's. We would have negative, negative 30 over 2 times negative 5. So here we have a bunch of negatives. We have three negatives, so I know that's a negative. 2 times 5 is 10, 30 over 10 is 3. So then the y-coordinate, well, it's not really a y-coordinate, it's the g-coordinate, okay? But we call it the y-coordinate of the vertex still. That would be g of negative 3, which would be negative 5 by negative 3 squared, minus 30 by negative 3, minus 15. Negative 5 times 9 is negative 45. Negative 30 times negative 3, that would be a plus 90 minus 15, left to right, that would be 45 minus 15, which is 30. So then the vertex is negative 3, 30. Our a coefficient is negative 5, so that's less than 0. The parabola opens down, so the vertex is a maximum. the vertical intercept. Again, we would find h of 0. It would be negative 4 by 0 minus 2 squared minus 5. Negative 4 by negative 2 squared minus 5. So that's negative 4 by 4. Negative 16 minus 5 is negative 21. 
So 0, negative 21. Now the vertex, the vertex is easy in this case because this is in the vertex form. The vertex is 2, negative 5. Don't have to do any work if it's in that form. All right, and since a is less than 0, a is negative, the parabola opens down, so the vertex is a maximum.